Welcome to Excel 2013 Pivot Table External Data Source. I'm Trainer Lori. What external data sources? We'll look at Microsoft Access, SQL Database, Web-based databases. They all work, but today we'll show you via Microsoft Access. This is the classic way of creating a pivot table. Make sure you've clicked in your database first and then go to Insert Pivot Table. Use External Data Source. So we want to use that one this time. Then click Choose Connection, and that will show all the connections that I've used before. If I want a different connection, I would click Browse for More. But the one that I want in this case is the Access Database. So I click that and click Open. Then the Data Links Properties opens, and it shows that this is the source. And if I need to use a username and password to get into it, it gives me that option. Some mainframe databases require you to do that, even some access databases. And I would recommend that you test the connection to make sure that the link works. And then click OK. And then because access has a lot of tables, it says which table would you like to link to. You cannot link to all of them at once. You have to choose one table at a time when you're creating your pivot table. I'm going to actually choose Order Details Extended and then click OK. And now the pivot table is available to me from an access database that I don't happen to have open at the moment. In fact, I have to close it to link to it. But I can choose the fields and I can put them in the order that I want them. So that's what we mean by source data. And you can see that it's easy to do as long as you know the connection string. You just have to know where it is so that you can access it in pivot tables. That's all the time we have this time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe to the Trainer Lori channel.